on Draw Stuff Real Easy today we're going to draw these nine designs for coats of arms but let's not talk about it let's do it you'll be needing a pen a pencil and an eraser our first device or blazon is a comet and we're just going to draw a circle and then I'm going to draw a kind of a little triangle on the side and we'll ink in that circle and make another little circle inside and shade the whole thing in that makes it look shiny and then we're going to put spikes on the outside which sort of turn it into a star or a meteorite kind of comet kind of shape like that and then we want to kind of work our way out in curves into this um, triangle shape and that will give us a comet and next we're going to draw a greyhound this is a bit more tricky so we want a circle like that and another circle underneath it and a circle to one side like and a circle to one side as well and we want to get this curve coming right in there like that and then the snout will come out there and the neck is wants to be nice and fine up at the top and then this will curve around into the leg that needs to then come up at an angle this comes down and there's a little zigzag in there like a lightning kind of thing going on so let's see what happens uh, we're going to draw around the top and across to the muzzle and back eye and then we want these little ears on the top and we'll bring that down and around to the tail which can then sort of curl up there bring that around there and down into a curve and then a little blob at the bottom and that's your front leg and then here we want to come down and then that little zigzag it's called a dog leg uh, and that will come down there with a little blob at the bottom as well come forward down at a little angle a little blob at the bottom that's the front leg and then the chest will come around like that and then we want another leg curving forwards like that little blob at the bottom there and you can give him a, a collar as well like that you can maybe paint his nose in and you can make him a bit spotty as well if you like so I do that by drawing semicircles on the outside edges first because otherwise if you just draw circles it doesn't quite look natural so semicircles like that and then you can fill in with some dots in between maybe a bit of shading underneath there as well and then next we're going to draw a shell so most of these uh, designs come from saints um, because you know heraldry is all very mixed up with religion and stuff and so the shell is the symbol of saint james so we're going to draw a curve like that two lines going across at a slight angle downwards and then we've penciled in this it, this this deep curve here but we're going to go around it with a scalloped edge because it's a scalloped shell so that's why we talk about a scalloped edge and then from here we're going to draw lines going out we'll draw another one coming down and if you do this sort of quite carefully then it will all work like that so that will give you a shell Join me on Patreon for images, help sheets and a whole lot more. And now we're going to draw a rose. And this is a, this is not like the Tudor rose. This is a four-leafed rose. And we want a circle in the middle. And then we want to cut it in half 
in quarters, <laughs> diagonally like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw raindrops. So start on the outside of the circle, like that, with a point, and then we come in and around like that. And then we're going to come around, and it's almost as if it's going around and looping. Can you see it's going around and looping? And loop around like that. We can draw our circle in the middle. And then let's start on the bottom one to get a shape here. What we want is like a W shape, it's a gentle W like that. So up above will be the opposite. And then here these will be kind of sideways like that. And then we want these little sort of triangly things sticking out like that. And then we want the sepals of the flower sticking out the middle. You can paint that any colour you like and a different kind of maybe a yellow in the middle and, and green little points on the outside. And you could maybe add a bit of shadow, simple shadow like that. And next we're going to do a crescent and that's easiest to do is if you make a circle like that and then another circle inside it. And um, what you can often do is to halve it like that. So if you go all around the outside and then the inside like that and then we can draw a line down the middle. Now what you will probably do is in drawing that line down the middle like I have done you've made one side slightly bigger than the other. And I would say this side is slightly bigger. So that means that I am going to let this one be the white part. Because if you shade in... No, I've done it the wrong way. <laughs> I'll show you what happens. So if you shade in this bit... See, I should have done this the other way. Uh, because this will be a bit more dominant. And it's, So if one side is slightly bigger, make that the white side. <laughs> I think I'm a bit dyslexic and I think I do one thing and I go and do the other. So do as I say and not as I do. Next we're going to draw a black bird. This could be a crow or a raven or whatever. So that's going to uh, be a circle and then we want a, a semicircle underneath and kind of line coming straight down from there. The beak going forward. And then the tail will come there and then the wing will come out there. So draw the beak like that. So you can have a little bit of a kind of a curve to that there. And I think we'll have a, <laughs> a slightly angry. And then we can have just a slight curve coming down there. And then that will come down to the the wing and then that's the tail and then we want the legs to go one two three so the legs go back a bit it's the opposite to our knees <laughs> which go forward i'm going to ink this in with my brush pen because that makes it quicker and look click up here and you will see lots more stuff on my how to design your own coat of arms playlist and I'm using a brush pen here just to make it a bit quicker. And I'm going to do a little bit underneath there as well. And next is a fleur de lis. So we'll draw a line across and up and down like that. And then we're going to draw, this is the bit that holds it all together. <laughs> the piece of string that tying a bunch of flowers. And draw a line up and a shorter line down. And from here we're going to go up and around like that and then we're going to do down like that so it's a bit like a, a sword really isn't it with a that's the handle and that's the blade and then here we want to do two curves curve curve and then we want to go upward curves here like that and there's a fleur de lis 
And next we're going to draw a boar. So this is a bit more fun. <laughs> um, we're going to draw a circle like that and then come down at an angle of about 45 degrees, then straight across and then down like that. From the top, this is the top of the head, we want to go around and then we want to sort of bulge out a little bit and then wiggle out there. So this is his snout, okay? This is a tusk. That's going to be his eye. And that will be an ear and another ear like that. Now his back, you can see it's a straight line, but in fact what we want to do is we want to make that slightly curved like that because I have that great big sort of shoulders that come up like that. And we're just going to draw that in little hairy bits. And then this is going to come down to make that really simple make that go across and then this will come down with a little hook at the bottom another one there and another one there and then we can add a bit of kind of furriness like that maybe a bit of shade in there you can add a bit of foot if you want there and what you could do is have him sitting on a I don't know, there's probably a technical term for this. It's kind of a little wreath kind of thing that sits on top of a um, a helmet like that. So you can make those a bit darker. And maybe put some little dots or something in across there for some shade. And finally, we are going to draw a Catherine wheel. So when you've seen those fireworks, you've never really thought about where the name comes from, have you? <laughs> So we want a circle on the outside and a circle on the inside. And the Catherine wheel comes from St. Catherine. You see, it all comes down to saints, all of these things. And then you want to draw another circle inside. And she was martyred on a spiked wheel. Doesn't sound terribly comfortable. And we want a wheel on the inside. And then we're going to draw spokes going out like that and then sideways and then going uh, diagonally into those quarters like that and then we want the spikes on the outside not very nice and we can maybe add a bit of movement there like that and if you really wanted you could sort of add a bit more spin <laughs> like that when you are sure that the ink is dry then you can erase all those pencil lines <laughs> and no one will know how on earth you ever did it and maybe even straighten up the drawing and there you have nine fairly easy designs or blazons to put on your coat of arms now click that button and make sure that you are subscribed to draw stuff real easy and keep coming back every week for lots more drawings in the meantime, keep drawing, 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 practice, 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 and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.